Alrighty everyone, welcome back. Now given that there's a lot of problems that have been arising between Bob Iger and the Disney board and the constant shakeup that they have been in based on what's been happening with the nine-year low of the stocks, the merchandise not doing quite as well throughout 2023, and let's not forget about the ongoing box office failures for their theatrical releases such as Indiana Jones 5, Elemental, The Little Mermaid, The Haunted Mansion didn't even perform that well as well. And we also have movies like the Marvels and Snow White that are looming to become box office failures as well. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. Now we know that there's a lot of problems happening between the Disney board and specifically Bob Iger on the cost containment plan on exactly how to stabilize Disney by spending less and making less. That's basically wreaking havoc on all of the Lucasfilm projects, a lot of the upcoming Marvel Cinematic Universe projects, be it TV shows or movies. However, when it comes down to Brie Larson, this is where more problems begin to arise because we know that Larson has been getting caught up in a lot of drama as of late, not just because of her firing from multiple Marvel projects for cameo appearances getting removed from Marvel Cinematic Universe TV shows on Disney Plus and how that has created quite a stir that has now progressed. Now specifically we know that Brie Larson is somebody that's very overly demanding, she really has no remorse or boundaries to what she says, and she feels that she has authority over even the producers or even the higher ups over at Disney. This has happened before in the past and it's already happening again. Now, with actress Brie Larson getting ready for her role as Captain Marvel in the upcoming Marvels film, one major development has to do with Brie's actions against Disney after they decided to remove her cameos from multiple Marvel TV shows from Disney Plus as Captain Marvel. Now, with Brie still attached to both Avengers Secret Wars and the Kang Dynasty, one big update has to do with her ultimatum now moving forward. Brie is now said to be walking away from her appearances as Captain Marvel for the upcoming Secret Wars film in response to Disney removing her from multiple projects. Now, Brie has reportedly informed both her agent and manager that she is no longer, of course, wanting any part in both Secret Wars and or the Kang Dynasty as Captain Marvel due to her firings by Disney from several shows as Captain Marvel. Brie even made it openly clear to the Disney higher-ups that she wanted to have a large pay increase for her involvement in future Avengers films. Now guys, let me just stop here for one second. Now, here's the problem with Brie is that she has done this many times before in the past where she makes these overly demanding requests such as pay increases that are very much outlandish and unrealistic, especially during these days during these times where Bob Iger's cost containment plan is really just spreading throughout all of the MCU, Star Wars, and just Disney in general. It's not just for the movies, but it's also for the parks. It's also for everything else related to Disney in general. Now, here's the bigger problem at large, is that we know that there's a lot of other problems arising out of this, given that Brie Larson herself has said before in the past that she feels that she deserves, that the Marvels really should have been her own limelight. It should have been all focused on her. She didn't really want this to be an ensemble cast. Essentially, this was supposed to be her movie that eventually just changed throughout history, and Kevin Feige made some changes along the way, per Disney demands. Now, this is where complications arise. Now, we know that the marketing of the Marvels is being cut back. And a lot of that has to do with Bob Iger putting a lot of limitations on the budgeting of these upcoming movies and shows. It also has a lot to do with the fact that they know that this movie is going to be a box office failure. You know, the third trailer, I don't know if you guys caught it, but the third trailer of the Marvels was just cringeworthy. It was a big, you know, decline in quality in comparison to the previous two trailers. Go ahead and check it out if you have not seen it. You guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. And we already know that director Nia DaCosta has come out and said that this movie is going to be the wackiest and silliest Marvel movie yet, even more silly than Ant-Man 1 through 3. Yes, she actually said that. So the fact that it's going to be that wacky and silly 
to the point where it's gonna feel so distant from all other MCU films. It really makes you wonder, what is this movie gonna feel like in tone, in style, theming-wise, etc., etc., right? Moving on. Now, on top of this, now these margins that Brie Larson was requesting for her pay increase was actually being negotiated between herself and Disney and how they were not working well at all in the least. Larson even demanded to have more roles as Captain Marvel, screen time-wise, for both the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars. Disney also refused earlier on which it would stir up further drama between herself and Disney, and even producer Kevin Feige, mind you. In fact, it was Feige's idea from the beginning to involve Brie in both these Avengers films, that he is now dealing with the drama behind the scenes. Now, these are the main reasons why Disney is very angry with Brie's demands, since it is already creating unnecessary drama behind the scenes and also interrupting the plans of production for the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars and how it's all connected to other MCU projects. Now guys, look, mind you, Kang Dynasty is not coming out until 2026, Secret Wars is not coming out until 2027. Both of these projects are still quite a far ways off and they could very well be a further way off if both the writer strike, the writer strike, everything happening with WGA and SAG continues to go into 2024, expect even further delays by at least six to eight months. And that's gonna be a big dent in the MCU and it's gonna be a big dent in Disney without a doubt. You know, the further these strikes continue, it's gonna create a bigger gap for no content for Disney. Now, one thing about this that I really have to take away from is the fact that this is not only interrupting Kevin Feige's plans for Secret Wars and the Kang Dynasty and how it's creating unnecessary drama. This, by the way, is exactly why Disney wants nothing to do with Brie Larson anymore. This is why they diminished her cameos from all of the MCU TV shows to begin with. These two projects, these two Avengers films, are basically the backbone to Brie's whatever is left of her career, to be honest, because we know that now Universal wants little to nothing to do with Brie anymore with Fast X Part 2 and Part 3, also known as Fast and Furious Part 11 and 12. So they want to eventually tune her out of that franchise because she just really didn't do anything for Fast X. Nobody was really all that impressed, and she didn't have a huge role to begin with, let's be clear. But Universal is phasing her out, Nissan is phasing her out slowly but surely as well with her Nissan commercials. It's not looking good. And even WB, they don't want to give her the initially, you know, um, project that they were actually conversing with her over to return for a Skull Island project. So we talked about that earlier on in the week, that went sour as well. So anyway guys, you know, drop a comment below, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys later.